Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. This is your boy, ECEO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way. And we creating content every damn day. Man, listen, man. Hey. The running mother elf is in the building, man. One more again, man. He is a co-host of the show. He's always here. Nah, he's a repeat offender. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. That intro flowing. You boys is flowing now. You really? Uh, no, he been the same forever. I know, but I'm saying it just feel good. It just hey, feel well, the boss is talking. That's you. Oh, I had my shirt on yesterday. It's somewhere all oh, the yeah, time. And the merch. Come on, man. Y'all stay with the merch. <laughs> Got to. My brother that do the merch, he always say, man, I done ran into E out here. The, yeah, do you understand? <laughs> yeah, you stay on top of it. Man, so... Let me ask you. Yeah, I see. You know, yeah, it's yeah, your boy. Yeah, I my seen brother. him day before yesterday. He stay out there. He gonna stay that hustling. That nigga working. Yeah. And he Man, stay running what's to his your, name? you or he gonna run into me What is Jamaica. his name? Bree, Lil Bree. Lil Bree, shout out, nigga. Shout out, Lil <laughs> Bree. Shout out, Corpus Fever, you know what I'm talking about? Man. And, and my boy, man, Live, he, he, he just retired, huh? Put, nah, Live, I think Live doing going for a thing? revamp. Nah, he doing a revamp on the um on the Still Underrated because he got some hard, his, his stuff hard. Yeah, I know. So I, I know, know he, he doing a revamp. Shout out Push Man Live, he doing a revamp. But you know, he just got his degree, at, um, he, he a therapist and whatnot, so he just out here getting some more money. Too. Okay. Yeah. So well, let let uh let my boy know uh half paint that uh we got, boy, we, we, got we got a wall now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Now now pipe, yeah. Yeah. You can pipe, you can hide. You can be bougie. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? They got a wall. That's the first thing I noticed. When I came here. He, he done had some uh some some the nice suspense, yeah, some nice like Hispanic uh, brothers of ours. That's right. Come through here that's and right. Put it together. That's right. That's right. A little bit of construction. Yeah. You know. So man, like um. You know, um, you, Megan the Stallion and uh, Nikki has had a, you know, you see what's going on. Yeah, it's got ugly, right? It, it got, got ugly it real got quick, quick, man. I'm trying to figure out what happened. That's what, that, that's what I don't what even I think know what happened. All, yeah, I think that's what we all trying to figure out, the real root of it, because it's like, it don't just, boom, it no. don't go from zero to a hundred like that. No. I mean, the line on your dead mama versus what really that's that, that you yeah. know, it's all gloves off. Yeah, it, oh, it's for sure all gloves off. Lying on your dead mama? Nails breaking. Oh, man. It's, that's an ugly fight. Spitting because I can't get to you fight. They fighting like that. Do you do you really think that, that you know, after the all the smoke clear, will they be able to sit down again together? Nah, never. Mm -hmm. No. Never. It's a strip no. club fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's never. That's for life. You heard me. I don't know if you watched Boss Talk when I went on and I see it, and I've been saying this lately. I'm a big Nicky fan, but when mm -hmm. you say... Uh, is your Pimp Z or is your Bun B? I had issues with Yeah, that hurt me too because I'm a country, I'm you? a country Texas rapping nigga it too. You, it, it hurt me. I, but every, it I, had, I want to you know, it, like, was, it was some people. I got this girl I reality Pimp, TV I love Bun. and uh, basically she was, he didn't mean it like that. How do you mean that? She didn't mean it like that. Wait a minute. What context can you put that in? It like I don't. That that, that kind of hurt me too. I, I was and I love Nikki and I was like, man, this is gonna mess my head up because <laughs> I never would have thought she'd have said. Is your Mountain B or is your PMC? I'm like, what the hell does that got to do with anything? And it almost is like you tell you saying talking down on the way we talk. Yeah, that's basically what I heard too. You felt that way I too. I feel like every Texas artist. I don't artist, feel like I'm crazy I now. I feel like any, but look, I feel like any and every Texas artist has um a bit of. We can all agree when Megan came out, she sound like a Texas female, bro. Like she sound like Texas, like you can hear it. So. To say, like, we all sound like that in our artistry in, in some way, shape, or form. So I'm like, that hurt me. That shit hurt, didn't it? I'm like, damn it. Damn. Like, what happened? The South ain't good enough again? It never was. Ah, we they never was. Like it. That, that, and you know that's the way it be? It, it, the truth come out mm -hmm. when a person get mad. When get mad, yeah, for sure. And they if, all get if mad. If a person get mad at you, they'll tell your ass. I tell you about yourself. You oh you oh you what? I didn't like that anyway, and I'm gonna go mm -hmm. in on you. You know the what I mean? The South embraced Nikki though. We did. Yeah, we, we did. If I'm not mistaken, her um her genetics come from um she was over there with Gucci and, and Miss Deb. She was with Miss Deb. And she was with Gucci, went to, and then to she went to Burner Man. And it, that's the side. And 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 you know, Lil Wayne gave it to her. Yeah, for sure. So I think I think that's the part. And yeah, and I don't say from the South. Yeah. Beyonce from the south for sure, for sure. sure. But the thing is, we just gotta we gotta do better, man. Because niggas has just been out of niggas. Just we were out of nigga in a minute. You see what Cat <laughs> William did? We were out a nigga in a minute. Impulsive, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we're out a nigga. Yeah, quick. 
What did you think about the the Cat Williams? I ain't got to talk to you since then. What did I think about the Cat Williams thing? When he went in, it's fifty. How many more is it? Look at fifty four million now. It's at fifty four. Oh God, yeah, it was there last week. Oh, it was at fifty four. Yeah. So it probably going to Cat went nuts, boy. Cat, oh, hey, no, look, Cat went nuts. Hey, hey, that's his truth. We don't, I don't know. I don't know the other side. It's I don't know. It's coming out. So all hey, I can listen. do is take his word for it. It's the same way when he was up there saying, he was like, you had people come up here, let me address my side of the story. I'm going to tell you like this. Every, he said, everybody that came out never said he didn't lie. For sure. They, they, they just said something. He was crazy. Something like that. Never said he lied. For no, sure. he said, you had Cedric the Entertainer sitting over here like a walrus. But you still got, <laughs> look, and, and that's what's funny, bro. You still got to realize <laughs> this, this, is a, uh, this is not just a comedian. This is one of our top mm -hmm. tier. He just having one of them real moments. He, he going to still be funny in the moment. But I'm like, I don't know, bro. I can't. I don't yes, know. I it was very entertaining. Nah, I, I tell you that. I watched the whole way. thing. I ain't cut it off. Me, huh? It was too long. For I me. watched that whole thing. I watched the whole thing, yeah. bro. I had to. I called my boy Faison. As soon as I would cut it off, he'll say something that'd be like, hey, "Well, I read man. three thousand books," and I was like, "Bro, huh?" I said, "Damn, that nigga done talked about Faison. Let me call. I called my boy Faison. This is some bullshit, man. Faison, do you hear what's going on?" <laughs> I he wonder say, why Faison hate uh, Country Wayne so uh, much. Country Wayne just said something. He don't about, hate him. He don't understand him. I, 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 I talked to both of them, but Faison, my guy, he like he sure. really dislikes him. I don't think so. It's like a, it's like a big, the big brother thing. Like comedians, not just him. What, what, is, it, what, is, just the, what, him. Is, what is the big brother thing? It's, it's Me understanding. Then, you gotta understand if you've been doing something. You, you got the same thing. I have a big brother. Okay, it's for, understanding. Okay, no, for, but I wouldn't have been the same big brother go, as my big brother. Here we go, fourteen to fifty-five. That's how long he been doing comedy. Okay, Big Worm. Okay. Y'all know him as Big Worm. I, I've been to his show. I watch his show. He really does stand up comedy. It's not a game. They went to all of those different back room, back wood comedy shows. Yeah, he was up there with Bernie Mac. He been up there with uh, Robin Harris. Uh, he been up there. This is a nigga that been doing this the whole time. Yeah. Then you got the new wave to come in. Mm -hmm. Quite naturally, he don't understand. Okay, these niggas doing this. Is he funny? Is he the funny we was? Is he Jamie Fox funny? That's how he's looking at it. Okay, but at the end of the day. Country Wayne has a whole network of way he's doing it with a cell phone. Yeah. This shit ain't never been done before. But Same see, thing I told Curry when, when Curry was here a day before you a couple of days ago. You niggas is doing something that ain't never been done before. That's the part we keep trying to figure out. See, my angle of it is, though, why, why am I comparing this guy's funny? Why does his funny matter to me anyway? Like, that's like, okay, take this. Okay, I'm getting it. Like you said from a, big, from a Big Brother perspective. That's like me having some young artists come up in the city and just because they don't make the type of music I understand, I can't deny their fan base and, and what they doing, the effect that's going on. Like, I don't have to agree with it. Like, why do I have to agree with it? Why, what is my opinion mean? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Be like, they, it don't matter. I think the thing is, they, they reach out to each other. It was some behind the scenes stuff happening. See, happened that's, that, that's that what you need to come on out. And that's what people not talking about. Because when I see the hate, it, it's like, nah, we need to get to the root of it. Because if we don't get you to the smart root, enough to know that, though. Yeah, yeah like, we got to get to the root. And, 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 they ain't going to see it because they, they, they egos, bro. And I can, but I can respect them even saying, hey, man, it's deeper than that. I don't like that thing. Cool. I don't cool. think it's he like him. Faze on not like that. He just talk, he say what he feel, and he don't care. What, what that, it ain't listen, like he got a caring bone in his body about what you, he e. say. You know what I'm saying? Next time you got phase on here, you got to get to the root of the other two. I, I would rather have them both on here to do it. That would be hard. Go, you know what I'm saying? But, Country Wayne, we need you on Boss Talk. Well, like, come I talked to him. Me and him talk. He called me probably two weeks ago. We need you on Boss Talk. But the thing is, it's just, it, it seems like it, it done gone too far. But I would love to see them, you know, uh, do something together. That's what I thought when they first jumped off. I don't yeah. think it's never too far. They can do a skit and meet each other. I don't think he'll ever do a skit. Man, he, he'll he do a movie with him. That's where he at with it. Me personally, if I was them and I was in their corner, film. I would make a skit about how basically what both of their angles have been. I don't think you funny and I don't think, I think you bitter or this, that, nothing. I would make that skit work like it would mess. Mm -hmm. And it would work, bro. Like that's what I, that's what I would do, though. I think they just. I think one thing about it, you know, they both dope. But 
neither one of them will ever hurt each other. They both got two different type of well, crowds. That, that, yeah, that, that matters. They got two yeah. different type of crowds yeah. out there when they go to their show. I went just left Faison's show the other night, and it was packed to the core. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I don't think neither one of them are hurting or will ever hurt each other yeah. as far as the way they, because of their reputation. Or uh, running to each other. Yeah, you know I don't know. They're probably running to each other, but you got, you got right now. Kevin Hart uh, just did a movie with uh, Faison. They still partners, bro. Yeah. These people partners, man. Uh, it was Kevin Hart that movie they did. It was just a little, just a razzle dazzle. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart, I think it was uh, uh, Bellamy and uh, Wesley Snipes. Okay. It was it was like four of them, four or five of them. That was, you know, these niggas were trying to act like they were strippers, they old ass niggas. I I, I seen the movie, they was, look, but then they had a young nigga with them that was. He was killing the game. He, when I seen when I seen Country Wayne addressing Faison, I was like, it's only one place he could have got his. Oh, he watched Boss Talk. He watched Boss Talk. We met him. We went to Houston and talked to him. And I next talked time, to next him. Next time you don't say, man, I was watching Boss Talk. They did. No, I'm saying when he was on Chef Show, I should have said, I was watching Boss they Talk. They're not going to say that. They're not going to say that. They're not going to say that. But they I know it come from here. They, everybody, even Vlad, all of them, they all, uh, everybody they knows. They're not going to they like, not gonna, they they not gonna say it, bro, at the end of the day. But I don't, it don't make me or break me because at the end of the day, I know over here we got that good dough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, good <laughs> dough. They got to go they, they it. They repackaging it and, they're, they're, <laughs> and reselling it. Yeah, yeah, we got that good dope over here. So at the end of the day, whether they want to admit it or not, uh, boss talk is uh. You know, I heard on, I heard you on a podcast. You had said that um you did like nigga say the podcast. Say what podcast? Um, nigga, they won't say it. Yeah, that, and that's a part of a lot of people's problem. Do I say I say a lot of niggas' names, bro? Yes. You know what I'm saying? I've always done that. Because guess what? Yo, yo, what's for you is for you, bro. Like, you ain't going to get it, step on nobody else's toes for what? But I think that's a, that's the boxing out movement, too. That's the trying to keep people boxed out, that's you know? Right. And But at the end of the day, I don't think, again, Texas is so big. The South is so big. Even even though Chicago love me, Houston, they got me. Atlanta, I'll be down there in another Month and a half or so, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying the South is so big, bro. It don't. I'm going to L.A. I'll be in L.A. next week. So, but but the South, they can hold it down, bro. And then you got some niggas really little running that. These niggas will tell me, out in passing, I love boss talk, man. But I only watch when you got Dallas niggas on there. They love Dallas. Like you on here, they mm -hmm. they only watch for the local. They don't want nothing else. This what you plant the seed though. But I get it, but I'm just saying, there's a pe a person out there who only watch this to see y'all. That's hard. And he don't care nothing but about nothing else. But, but I feel like you service the city, like, heavily. Trying to. I Not even I, trying, like, it's going on. No, it's going on. Niggas is in here. Niggas yeah. is in here telling well, yeah. their stories. To the one niggas is coming back. Like well, I got I to gotta come back and say some, some more things because we shit done well. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think, I don't think nobody right. has done that like me either. That's nah, what I'm about to up. I done had some you crazy stuff the up niggas here. That's in the city That means something to the city That done something for the city In any way, shape, or form Like they coming through this thing Man, Twisted Blacks was I love that interview Shout out man. Twisted Black That was a good interview, man Like, it's stuff like that, man We just we just gotta keep it going So what do you what do you foresee This first quarter? What are you thinking As far as uh, Where you wanna take your brand? Well, my brand is moving in The direction of Whatever guy I wanted to go I just be working, bro Like, uh, planning in music, to me, in this music business, all that planning and all the structure is for the people that got labels and, and due dates and things of that nature. If you independent and you out here grinding, thug, throw that shit around. Throw it around. You got you got to throw that shit at the wall and see if something stick. That's how my whole career always been. That's why I got so many records. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sitting there putting all my eggs in one basket trying to push one record, this, that. Like, I was just throwing that shit. Like, I was letting the people tell me, oh, I like this type of shit. Do this type of shit. Because at the end of the day, I, of course, I do music to, to, you know, it feel good for me. You dig what I'm saying? It's something that just really, like, does something for me because I'm passionate about putting this type of shit together. But outside of that... Music, it changed my life, bro. Like, music take care of my family. You see what I'm saying? So, I have to give people what they want. It ain't about mm -hmm. what I want in mm -hmm. my artistry. At a, like, when I'm booking shows, the songs that I'm performing might not even be my favorite songs, but it's theirs. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing this mm -hmm. shit. When it comes time to make some money, bro, it's mm -hmm. who gonna spend the money. It ain't about what the motherfucking... This is what I want to sell you. Like, nigga, I don't want that. I want the shit that you ain't selling. Give me that back there. 
And that's what I had to learn in this shit. And once I put that to the side, I, j- I get to have fun with it, bro. I have so much fun in this shit, bro. I get to just kind of, I do everything. What about this four bats dude, man? What about him? That nigga going crazy. That shit is different, boy. I ain't never seen no shit like that in my I life. And that nigga look different than what he sound. <laughs> yep. When I look at that nigga, I ain't not, I'm not expecting, do he talk like that? I have absolutely have no idea. Have y'all ever heard him talk? Nope. I tell you this. Kanye said that nigga next up. Have you ever? You don't talk like hey, that. That nigga ass is next up and out of this bitch. I ain't never that seen nigga, a rollout like that. Never in my life. And any man the ATL. That nigga I that always nigga. be like, how do they keep doing this or what? What's going on? Whatever. Why whatever's that nigga from going South on. Dallas? I don't know. Where, I don't know where bro from. South Dallas, yeah. South Dallas or Oak Cliff. Nigga, that man, that went crazy, bro. A lot of people going about crazy. That, man. A lot of people on that. That shit's next level. Kanye said it is. Next level. <laughs> Kanye said it is. He Kanye go. said it is. Next level. Especially Kanye right. got a mask on, said it is. You don't even see his eyes. Just, just, just go back. Huh? Yeah. I ain't never seen nothing like it. <laughs> when you say you ain't never seen nothing like it, what do you mean? I'm saying I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. Like how did, how this shit rolling out and it's really like sticking like that's like throwing your first shit at the wall and it stick like that and then it just start spreading on the wall you like what the fuck is this mm. like bro I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life I'll say this whatever whatever team that this nigga got around him they geniuses wow. His music business is fucking hard, bro. And they figured it out. For them to do it like that, nigga, they have unlocked a, a, a whole side of the Rubik's Cube. Then they got a color on one side. They might have a few sides with the way that bitch Do you out. think that it was just Shit. something that they just stumble into like I that? I don't know. You see what I'm I saying? I don't know, bro. That probably what it is, man. That shit just went. I don't know. Something takes a fire in my life. I like that. He started off with it slow. He released it with it slow first, and then he released it. Sped up. Play. But at the end Same of, song. But at the end of the song, he do the slow version. Yeah, I see. I heard, I heard that. I can see that. But he put the slow version out first, and then when he put the other version out, that's when it. I ain't even talking about the music. The music is jamming. Whoever the, whoever little bro is, he jamming. That motherfucker is jamming. Yeah. But I'm talking about how it spread. Like Quit. how they yeah. got that shit to spread. Whoever's in place, y'all need to be shaking hands, doing high fives, jumping around the room because that shit is. Motherfucking churning. They figured it out. It's churning. They figured it out. They figured it out. And that's the whole game. Like to figure out, figure it out in these days and time. And, and it's not that easy. It's not that easy because you got to fool a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of them. Yeah, you got to. You got to fool you a lot of people. make a lot of people believe us. And you got a grace period, especially when it move quick. You can, you can slow grow, but if you move quick, you got a grace period that it got to just. And they they handling it like I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. No, it's a, a totally different game. So, big X to plug. Big X to plug is uh he definitely dope as usual. We always give him a shout out. Um, what about his uh he got Rosam over there and he got another mm-hmm. kid. I don't know who the other kid is. Who is that other guy? Uh, who he gave him? He I gave seen, him. I seen yeah. I seen you. Um, okay, is okay. Rosama been working. Mm-hmm. He been on here. He's 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 cut from a different. Have you listened to any of his music? Mm-hmm. What do you think about it? He hard. He hard. He the one told Big X plug the rap. He hard. See, I be having to hear all of it through Pint. Bet. So I get to hear everybody. Cause Pint really be listening to the niggas in the city. Like, yeah, he don't get no credit for that either, though. He like, yeah, you need to hear this song. He and he know like I don't want to just hear a song. Like, play the, play the shit that made you say you like him. And then I get to hear the gusto. So yeah. I, I I get to hear what, you you know, shit. And we all, it's close. We ain't got the exact same taste, but it's close. It's like, nigga, you gonna know what I think gonna jam it. Bro, most definitely jam. For he sure. Jam. Consistently. Consistently, he gonna bring it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know the other little dude, Hood, you say. Have you heard some of his music? I heard some of his music, too. He in a nice little pocket, too. He in a nice pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I would him tell him, man, at the, man, just support X and grind. Grind right there. Grind harder than him. Grind harder than him, because... He already in motion, like his motion going. Y'all just want to be able to just be able to. He, it's, it's there. Y'all right there with him. So y'all gonna get that. Y'all gonna get some of that. What, what I call it, some of that trickle from his fan base, just off of trying to get another angle of him at a show or something. I'm gonna look at his story. So you instantly gonna get that. But with that music shit, 
Bro, st- just build, 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 bust their head, bust their head, bust their head. Make X job easier because y'all are a part of his business too. Like, go hard. Mm. And, 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 and they could be a powerhouse, bro. They got they, they got the talent to do that shit. Man, let, I'm going to tell you, man, you you definitely, you you have to be tapped in. You've you been doing this so long in this city and outside of just the southern, you know, region, period. Uh, the fact of how dudes come up and how they lay their projects out, are you, are you, are you, do you, you got it down pat? I'm just asking Kiki the same thing. Uh, he lays it out like a, like, I know how to put my projects out to make it. Is it, when you're independent, is it hard figuring that part out or is it easy? What is, what is it for you? Uh, it's easy to me. I don't know. I don't know for nobody else, but shit, if I want to put something out, I can put it out. Is it done in the way, you remember the labels back in the day? No, nah, I don't overthink it. Okay, they used to put a lot, big budget behind yeah, it, yeah, yeah. try to push it. They wanted to go to the top. That's because they, they gave some money away already, so they trying to make their money back. They, they do, but that might be a good thing, because nigga got yeah, hustle of harder. Of course. He got to bring it, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they for sure supposed to do what's on their end, but as far as if you're on the ground doing it by yourself, man, you just got to do it and make the needle move. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and that might not cost you no money. Yeah. How do you think the podcasting in the blog world doing in the in the Dallas market in Dallas Fort Worth area? Because I feel like everybody that's starting right now, it's a lot of it's a lot of new guys getting in this game. Everybody that's just starting, like you starting, you missed the wave. It's gonna switch up. It ain't it ain't just gonna switch up. The motherfuckers that they want in is in. Wow, yeah. like you was supposed to be building back then when nobody was on it. But when everybody was like, all right, who's doing all this podcast shit? Now it's that. I remember, who's doing all this such and such shit? And then when it becomes that, it's like, these are the people that was doing that. They was yeah. planting them seeds and watering it. And now, a lot, see what a lot of people do is, bro, they see people have some success, and they say, I got the money to go grab all this equipment. Let me go do it too. That's how, it ain't that ain't it. how it works. Of course, it as, it. I, I understand hustling. We all supposed to want to keep building yeah. and growing and growing. And who, who's to say that some of these podcasts won't grow? But I can tell you probably 90% of them won't because they jumped in it just because they seen success from other motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? If you wasn't already hit, had your head down before the pandemic, get out the way. Wow. Mm-hmm. You see, um, it, it's people like Joe Budden. Uh, you see uh, uh, Drink Champs. They had a hell of a run up front. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Cameron and then, what's the name of the, the stuff? I never knew the name of it. I never I have like to. You know about him and May shit? Yeah, what is it? What is that shit? Uh, 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 uh. It's just blue. It's a sports show. It's blue. Yeah, it's a sports show, whatever it is. And, um, you know, uh, he went to Navarro College, I think. Did you know that, Cameron? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In Corsica County? Uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of my family in Corsica County. Yeah, he went down there. Um, I know that. But it's, um, it, these niggas, is, they figured it, they, them the ones that, that's really making waves, right? Yeah. Uh, Matt Hoffa, who else? It, it's a few of them. You got real life, of yeah. course, you know. But, when I first started this, nigga was like, man, you know, man, yeah, different angles and huh? You can't leave Trill Talk out. Trill Talk, yeah, but Trill Talk, he do it, but he more blog. He used to, he used to do interviews like a lot. Yeah, and he's started, starting to start him back. Started. Yeah, but he be he be on it, man. He be into the midst of what's going on. He keep everybody informed. Yeah. You be seeing his yeah. a lot. He be, he be on and, it. And, and Dallas Globe, the same thing. The game got heavy on um, interviews. They got super heavy on interviews and Niggas started to see that, okay, I'll say this. Your interviews, if you're doing interviews, your interviews is going to be as good as the interviewer is, bro. Yep. Now, a lot of niggas started to see, like, okay, niggas was being able to book these people and get them in there to ask them these weird questions. But the quality of your um, guests will lessen because they don't trust you. Mm-hmm. They don't trust you. There ain't no yep. safe place. Like, why well, I'm going to come tell tell my business or, or why I got to feel like I'm in defense mode the whole time? Because, you know, them real deal celebrities where everybody always in their life, of course, some shit done went on and we need to talk about it. Yep. The small people that don't do nothing want to know what happened. But, you know, <laughs> I like to know like Cat William when you come in there with it on your chest. Yeah, he came and just talked. <laughs> that on that. Let me get me another drink. It's three people Ryan, it's home. <laughs> Skill. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Cat. <laughs> I mean, Stephen A. I mean... <laughs> He know what to do. He was kicking it though. He had a good time. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he know you how to sell. He had a good time doing that, man. He probably was like, "This hoe gonna go." That's what he was saying. Ooh, I know this hoe finna go. Like, this hoe finna go. This hoe. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I know it's gonna go. Yeah, and, and just to let any other other celebrities know that are of, uh, I know y'all be watching Boss Talk, so don't act like you ain't. Nope, don't try to cut it off. Don't try to cut it off. Let me tell you what Cat Williams said. 
face on love said uh, anybody can do a uh, uh, anybody can do a Netflix special. What do you think he said that at? Don't stop. He ain't, he ain't never said that nowhere else. You come on here then. <laughs> you, owe, you owe these folks. Come on, oh. kid. The one thing about it though, we, I think I think the best thing is to keep your head down and work. You know that. Yeah, for so, sure. So nigga gonna see it. Nigga, you, cause we out, we, we we work a lot. We drop a lot. You know what I mean? And I think that's the that's the most potent part about it is to keep working, keep dropping, don't even trip. You know what I'm what saying? You said at the beginning, every day. Oh yeah. Oh. Creating. I'm money Moses by the way, and we creating content every Shh, damn that day. shit matter. That's real. That shit matter. How much we changed since you first came here and, and told me boss talk one on one? What the bosses talk, bro? I swear to God, <laughs> that, that shit did come for you. It did. It did. I did. know. I did what he said. It, it did. It changed a lot in here, boy. Hey, hey, hey! You you said that, man. I said, damn, that's it. That's it. Good money. But you want to know what's crazy? Everybody came here and recognized that wall except me. <laughs> I did not know that wall here. When I first got here, I did not know that wall. But that's now you that, talking to us. That's because the backdrop was always right there, though, right? No, no. never. I that was open. That there. It was I, a was smaller open. one. It was something right it here. Was, it, it was. It was a smaller, smaller wall. Yeah. I bought a bigger one, yeah, Cause, to cover the wall. Just so, like I said, the main thing you could clip us out the other way, but here, you know, because they'll take it and run with it and. I want them to be able to get that boss talk. Ah, they going to be from every. So guess what? You can't keep stealing the food. <laughs> can't steal it no more. You can't steal the food. There ain't no way to zoom in or none of that. You just going to just cut the whole mm-hmm. subject out. Right, gonna do that. On, it's good zoom in now because they're going to they make it even bigger. Yeah. It's going to be even bigger now. So you <laughs> zoom in, it's going to be even bigger. So that, cut you, the whole subject what out. What do you think about uh, Jess Hilarious is uh, she has taken her place as a. Uh, I saw that. Yeah, she's going to be the new Breakfast Club uh, co-host. Yep. What do you think about it? You think it's gonna be the it's gonna have an Angela Yee feel? No, nah, Angela Yee is Angela Yee. Nah, I don't think nobody can do what Angela Yee's doing. Uh, just gonna do what she do. Just, just a little different. You, she already had beef with Master P when he ca- he came on there. What? What? She called her stuff just with the mess, huh? So she mess with people too, don't she? <laughs> she do. She mess with people. See, I ain't never really sat there and watched one of her, you know, tirades like. When when Country Wayne went on Club Shay Shay, he only talked about Faison and Jess Hilarious. I seen that. Them was the two. But he was in a relationship with her. He in a relationship now with Faison. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Meaning <laughs> mean he can't get loose. That's that's the history. That's his whole legacy. It oh, always, no. It's going to always be there. Now, I ain't because seen, of the way that it's being responded to, it's going to always be there. I ain't seen enough of Jess to, to be able to rate her right now. I don't know either. I want to see how she going to do. I hope she I hope she kill me. Michelle going to watch a few episodes and see see what she's um how she delivers up there. I know I don't want to. I know what's the name? Charlemagne say she She got to be dark. Like she got to come from? in dark, bro. From like the east. She's somewhere on the east coast. Somewhere. She is from the east coast. Tell her get somebody from the south. Look up she look up though. I think she from like Baltimore. I think she from Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah. Yep. And I Oh, here we go. Two, yeah. one, two. And That's that guy she was we saying. We are so... Rock with Baltimore. We different. Baltimore. We different. Mm-hmm. Everybody's different. And and you know what, though? They're going to keep it to their people. They're going to keep it on the East Coast. That's what I'm saying. We have to... Like I said earlier, we got to do this for us, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we got it. We just got to keep pushing. And as we grow, we got to make sure we bring the right people on the show and really rock out with the right... The person you work so much, it's easy for me to bring you on boss talk because I know you're gonna compliment it with something else. Yeah, you're gonna keep working, they're gonna keep calling Lil Run and Mother Elf, they're gonna keep trying to figure he gonna keep going, he gonna keep coming up with stuff. Yeah. He might do a short film, he might do a video, he might do a song, he might write a song, yeah, yeah but yeah. that's what makes this worthwhile, you know what I'm saying? For so, sure. I don't think, like I said, I don't think I, I don't even hesitate when it comes to tell me you ain't working, nigga, you crazy. That nigga gonna work, he got to work. I seen them babies, yeah. <laughs> That, hey, straight up. It's that simple. <laughs> Black and white. <laughs> Ain't no gray areas. Ain't no gray areas, man. So here we go. Uh this year, uh, twenty twenty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think is is like what what what's gonna be the something big that's gonna go down? Something huge. What the economy they uh, say is messed up. What I think gonna go down. Let, well, well, I can we got a new president. Are we getting uh, about uh, my boy coming back? Who? I don't know if he could do another four years. Trump. Trump. No. Who? The other one. The, 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 the pres- president Biden. now. I don't know if he could do another four. I don't know, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I don't even be, I, think, I don't be on none of that. 
You don't think he can do another bro, one? I don't even be knowing what be going on, bro. That I, don't shit. Think, I don't know if he could do another one. I don't know, bro. I really don't. If they can't, they only can do oh, two how old is he? Now, he only did one. How old is he? Yeah, do I don't two know, but bro, brittle. No, I'm telling you, I don't know if he can make it. I think he's like 80 years, something. Sure. He all, he his hair old. going up right he's here. Like he's like Right he's here, his hair going up. So why the hell you want to It was going up already. If you pour some water on that shit, it might dissolve. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know if you want to put him back in there. Why would you want an old ass person run the world anyway? Well, y'all picked him the first time. It's just our country. Man, who? You're right. country. Nigga, you here. I don't give a damn about you. I was born here. You here. You love the president, ours, nigga. No, don't talk no, about no. my president. That's ours, nigga. Don't talk about my president. Hey, as bad as I love the Trump. Trump it is. I love the Trump. So what's what, what you, what, what's your country? What, 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 what you Man, just here? I'm just here, bro. I knew you was going to do that. You just going to go here, against bro. the grain. I'm just here in this motherfucker. I, I ain't got no choice. Where can I go? Turf. I'm from wherever I'm at. Where can I go? That's definitely he here and he's here to stay. I can survive any 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 state I go to. I'm gonna make it through. Nah, nigga, that's a state. I'm talking about nigga. This is our country. That's why, nigga. Can you go survive in another right. country? Yes, I can. You, well, you don't speak no none of their language. Yes, I know how to be able to shake my hands. I'm good with my hands. I can do stuff. Go in the woods, cut stuff down. I do all that myself. I don't need nobody. I know how to make knives and shit. That's what he's saying until you have to make them knives. Yeah, that's what he's saying until the, the damn the thing go for bad. It. You got to hey. clean a damn piece of meat to try to cook it and eat it. Got to kill it first. All that. Don't catch it. You got to go fishing. You ain't got no gun. You really can't fish that good. I know make traps You really can't fish that good. I heard about you. Oh, you better ask your brother. I heard about you. Better ask your brother. You catching fish for this one girl. You catching fish for that girl. We in Boss Talk right now. You This building got a plethora of things and items that you can make a trap with. Make me a trap right now. And we, you in the jungle with nothing. If you can't make a trap with the shit you got in here, I, I ain't going to believe you'll do it in the jungle yeah, with this, nothing. I already got it. Okay, no, 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 come on. No, 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 no. You want a trap? I want to see a trap that you going to make that that's going to keep you alive tonight if you, if some food was running in this motherfucker and you had to catch it. The, the camera's on the tripod, so I can't use it right now. But, the but that's the what you use. Yeah, 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 I want to hear what, how you making this trap. It's a bunch of, look at this. You got endless things. Where we at, though? Like right here? No, I'm saying you can use any of these items to take with oh, you it's, out it's there. Oh, it's easy then. It's a lot of metal in here. It's what easy. is you gonna make? I won't know. I won't know until I start putting it together. It's like, bro, when, when you when you put it together, you're not gonna know until you actually start doing it. This might work, it might not work. So you don't know. You uh -uh. would know that if you start building stuff. Uh uh. Yes, you would have. Uh -uh. I, 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 I think you fast only talk. People, listen, only I people. I think you just got caught fast No, talking. listen to me. You gonna tell me. People. I'm gonna take that rope right there. That's what's gonna be the blue, blue, blue. We're gonna yes, bring the, this the, the rope's gonna be the main thing you use. But you got to this, this might not work depending on how big of a hole you want to make. It depends. What you doing? I'm going to make a I'm not really finna do it. I'm going to be, I'm going to a fishing hole and I'm going to get me some worms and I'm just going to catch me a few fish. You ain't got no line though. You out there no, no, you ain't no, got no, nothing. No. Nigga, then I'm going to make a net, a slough. Yep, you're going to jump in there. No, I, you can take, a, I can take something in here. That right there. It's going to be something you can that use. That right there. Mm -hmm. You can take that and throw it just in a specific part of the, the pond and just pull it up. You're going to catch a few fish. That at big at old bait. Yeah. Oh, I'm listening to that you. That shit going to work. And that's what you taking. That's I'm gonna take and throw it right out there. And I'm, when I pull it up, yeah, you gonna be like, "Listen, y'all, this is boss talk one on one survival." I would definitely. <laughs> it's easy, bro. Like, it's hey, easy. this is. I easy. would definitely catch me some fish, and I got more stuff in the back. Yeah, yeah. And I got some fishing line back there while you talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. So see. Cause you get a hang stuff. Man, he knows stuff. it here. See? <laughs> <laughs> I got some fish line. I got some fish line back there. I don't have no mix. hook though. You gotta have a hook. I can make a hook. You can make a hook. I can make a hook out of that thing in your hat right there. I got that. This little piece right here. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. Got the hell that. yeah. <laughs> so man, hey man, I had to get you on the show. We had to talk it out, chop it up. This just gonna be something to just pop out on them right quick. Show them little running mother Elfton came back and showed me some love. It's 2024. This our first one that we doing in 2024. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. One uh, he made a new real resolution to get to it. The song New Year's resolution, man. That song is one that that's the best song. You know that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, so I don't even play about that. You know what I'm saying? I listen to that every day because it motivates you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Is Earl coming back? He gonna fight again? Uh, he said he is. You, you, you. You should, he fit a fight. He got to fight Terrence. I don't know if he's fighting Terrence, but I, I, he said he fight. He got to fight. He said he ain't retiring. Well, if he ain't retiring, he got to go back and he got to take that. He got to go back and get that money. We need to see that again. That wasn't the, that wasn't what it was. No, nah, that wasn't what it was though. He got to go back. Yeah, he, he got to go. You know how your parents you be like, you better go back. You I better would love fight. for him to go get his. Um, well, we don't know what he gonna get, but he need to go back. Ah, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like how you said that. No, I'm, I want to go get his paper back. No, I don't, please I don't go get, get your fight. paper. Fuck the fight. I mean, money. Go get that win, bro. 
Yeah, oh, the money. money no, the money. The money I already made. No, yeah, forget the money. Go get your. He money. made money out yeah, there. Money, ain't nobody tripping because the money yeah. is already made. Win. But we this gonna come back again, if he, bro. If he can go get a win, bro. I will tell you I'll this: take that. if bro come home with a win, that's just so his story just got so yeah, much yeah, better, so much bro. Better. Like, yeah, yeah. But if he did, then he got to do a third fight. Mm -hmm. Now yeah, they got to yeah, do a third. That's even better. Even now, better. Now, now you get your money. It's gonna be huge. Now, now, but now he over there building this story. It's everybody in life, bro, building their story, bro. But that would be a mm -hmm. great testimony in his story. Another chapter to add to his book of. I would love to that see. That would be crazy. Thank I would love to see that. That's my player partner. I would love for him to yeah. add that, that chapter to his book. Shout out to Earl, man. Like I said, he in the Dallas area. Shake so back, my boy. He got to come on with it. I ain't seen him. You seen him? I be seeing him online. That's it. Yeah. He happy. He got a lot of money. Man. Rich as hell. Rich as a... Check it, man. I love taking it yeah, like this. Hey, we'll man. Much money. Make sure you guys getting beat up like that. Oh, exactly. for free. Exactly. Uh, no, this can beat up like that, and then getting the money took out exactly. their pocket. Of that guy. All right, hey, yo. Make sure you got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut it down, man. Little running mother, thank you for coming on the show again. We love you, bro. Money Moses, you ready for LA next week? Yes, I got. Listen, I got another segment. I'm gonna make myself. It's gonna be called Cap. Cap. Yeah. Oh, so you take a lot of niggas cap? Yes. <laughs> Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk. What a what a boss is talk. I'm awesome.